My name is David Benjamin. I'm co-director with Suen Yang of the Living Architecture Lab at Columbia. And our project, Amphibious Architecture, is a collaboration with the artist Natalie Jeremijenko. And for this project, which is uh, sponsored by the Architectural League of New York, and it's part of a, an exhibition called Toward the Sentient City, which is an exploration of ubiquitous computing and all of its possible implications. Um, our project, Amphibious Architecture, involves uh, two different floating networks of tubes. These tubes are out in the river, in the Bronx River and the East River. And each network has a series of sensors below water and lights above water. There are three kinds of sensors. Sensors for water quality through dissolved oxygen. Sensors for presence of fish via a sonar sensor and what we're calling a sensor for human interest in the environment. And that's through an SMS or text messaging interface. And based on that kind of uh, uh, series of inputs and that kind of complex interaction of those uh, factors, the lights above water illuminate, kind of revealing the conditions of what's going on underwater. We have sensors underwater as well as connection to a text messaging interface on land. Um, and underwater, we're able to detect uh, the water quality, and based on the water quality, we will change uh, the color of the lights of the network. So if you, at a glance, see these, this cloud of light floating above the river, you'll be able to know whether the water quality tends to be uh, good or bad, or in other words, whether it has a high or low dissolved oxygen content. And then if you um, are looking out at the network of lights and you see a kind of uh, path through the grid of lights illuminated, you'll know that there's the presence of a fish there and you'll even be able to see the kind of vector um, or trajectory that the fish takes um, as we detect it um, passing beneath the system. And the last thing you'll be able to see um, through the lights on the network is uh, when someone has requested information about water quality. So anyone can text message in uh, to our kind of living light hotline and get back real information about what's going on underwater. You can uh, in some ways text the fish and the fish will report back what it's like uh, underwater. And meanwhile, lights on the network will blink twice and that will indicate to people on shore who see that, that someone else has, has requested information. So we think of that as a kind of collective register of, of interest in what's going on under there.